what a material fact is, and how they are categorized. You can't read any of that. Spend all my time moving things up in the top third of the thing. I'm apparently failing this. So when this closure doesn't fit the situation, here we're going to talk about options. I get another agent to represent them. 
give them the opportunity to discuss that with an attorney. And then I need to give them the opportunity to terminate the listing agreement. Transfer it to another broker. As you were saying, I could transfer it to another broker, and then that broker could take it and run with it, giving them their full fiduciary duty. You're absolutely right, Robert. But before I do that, they need to understand what the ramifications are of me with that information. So they need to have talked to somebody else before they go and say, okay, that's just fine. Just leave it in the company, just transfer it to your brother, and we'll be fine.
for themselves. And so they can't maintain a sense of loyalty to that client. Now, there's a possibility that the client is friends with the firm, right? So Pat's my agent's the firm, but I'm a bit, and the person who's selling the property is my best friend.
my loyalty? Am I testing that here? Is this something I need to be doing because of the obedience requirement? Speaking of, what do we owe our client? We owe them loyalty. We owe them loyalty. Obedience. Accounting.
to the property. There's highway coming in. They're getting ready to add sewer and water for the city. This backs up to a cemetery. There's a cemetery on this property.
roof is going to have to be replaced. Those are large outlays of finances. The buyer needs to be aware of that up front so that they can make a, an informed decision. Similarly, problems with plumbing, AC, heating. Any big ticket items like that, these are going to be things people need to know about so that they can make informed decisions. Problems with drainage, easements, restrictive covenants, those are important. Restrictive covenants because what if I want to paint my house or potty blue? If the restrictive covenant tells me I can't paint my house or potty blue, I don't want to move there. So these are important things I need to know, I need to be aware of ahead of time. All the stuff you put in MLS, all that's material fact. Like I said, it's not just bad things, it's just anything about the property. The fact that it's got three bedrooms is a material fact. It's going to impact a person's decision making, but I needed four. So all of the information that you hear about, those are all material facts. The location, the location, the location.
say older people? Is there like a, an affinity each for that? A senior citizen, whatever the, the, the going is for senior citizens now, I think 55 is where they draw the line. I know. I'm, I'm heading right over there. <laughs> senior citizen land. I can't wait if they go get me a discount on coffee. <laughs> Any other questions? It's different. I mean, I think for, for housing, it's 55. For, for the movie discount, you have to be 80. <laughs> that says, do you want to cook crystal meth? Can't see it. <laughs> That's it. 
if, if they are your principal, that means they are your what? Client. If they are your principal, did this. If they, oh, well, I might have said that. I might have said that, and then that would just be why everyone was confused. There's a video camera recording it. We'll check it later. And if I was wrong, I will never. Yes, when they're not principals, they are customers. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we do have some things that we have to disclose only when there are, it's a client relationship. That's a third party's willingness to agree to price terms or conditions that are more favorable to our clients. If I know they'll take $5,000 less and I'm a buyer's agent, my job is to tell my client that. To, to have that information and not disclose it is, is to fail on a material fact for my client. If, there's, if I know what their motivation is, a third party's motivation, if I know what the seller's motivation is and I represent the buyer, it's my job to tell my buyer. That's exactly. 